bad golfer tries to break 50 from the four tee. Somebody way better at golf than me told me, hey, stop playing so far back. Play from the red tees and learn how to score. I don't know what he meant. I mean, I score every hole, just very high scores, but we gave, we're giving it a try. Drive was a little bit in the trees, but I was able to get up and out. So, hey, I'll take it. This putt was pretty short, but hey, it's the first one of the day. This par putt hits the pin right in the middle. In the case of pull the pin or not, this bad golfer will always do it going forward. This iron shot wasn't bad, just a little to the left, but hey, I'll take it all day. I was told when there's a lot of dirt around the ball, you gotta swing a little harder. So I did that, it just took off on me. So maybe less next time? I made the decision, I'm gonna work on my chipping, so I hit this chip. But man, should I have putted it. For those keeping track at home, that's two shots that went too far. So classically, you have to overcompensate and hit this way short. But close enough for a tap in and a two putt, we'll take that all day. This tracer might look cool, but this ball went nowhere. Just went straight up in the air and straight back down. This is your typical fly or lie situation. Actually, I don't know if that's true. It's just something I heard once, so it sounded cool. But hey, hit this one further than I normally do. Back of the green. So that second shot was a little bit worse than we anticipated. Left me a decently long putt. But hey, I got it close. And in a bad golfer's game, you'll take that any day. You got to take the wins when you can. And this was a win. So I've learned not to call this a slice and more of a gentle fade off to the right. Extremely right. I know what they say, hitting the ball in the air is important. But sometimes you just want to burn some worms. And that's exactly what this one did. But it wasn't a bad shot at the end of the day. All I kept thinking on this shot is don't hit the rope. And I didn't, so that's good. Still a horrible shot, but hey, I didn't hit the rope. Take the wins when you got them. My goal for the rest of the year is to try to two putt every green. Does that an improvement? Yes. Does that mean that's good? No. But hey, again, take any win that you can. This drive wasn't bad. Kept turning right a little bit on me, but hey, all of them do. So this is just according to plan. I, I wasn't going to put a tracer in the shot, but I wanted you to know how bad it was. And yes, that's the actual way the ball went. All I keep telling myself is let's recover. And then I went ahead and shanked this next one. But that's okay. But that's okay. We can still recover. Let's get the wedge out of our hands. Texas wedge this up there. And let's try our best. There we go. Here's our chance. Let's make this putt and move on. If you've seen my videos, you know it's not going to happen. Pain is all I know. But hey, we did our best to recover. This was not hit well, but I'm glad it got over. Here's a little rain ASMR. Refreshing. I was thinking maybe with the mud and stuff, I'd catch this one a little fat. Nope, turns out, scold it all the way across the green to the other side. Little slap shot seven iron. Didn't think I'd make it between the trees because I mean, I missed the green and it's huge, but hey, it was worth the shot and it worked. Now, believe me or not, there is a hole there. It's just pretty far away, so you can't really see it. And this putt didn't really get me that much close to it, but I tried. So the next one, we try to get it closer and it gets super close, not really. From this view, you can see how far left I'm aiming for a putt with no break. And of course I missed it because, you know, I'm bad at golf, so it's just kind of expected, you know? I mean, that slice is impressive. Look at that. It's even off the screen. It even turned back a little bit and it's still bad. I cursed myself right here. I had just thought to myself, man, I haven't topped the ball in a while. Well, there that goes. But it's fine. This is where we recover and we get it back. Right here. Or we shank it. Yep. We can shank it too. After this shot and this shank, I immediately book an appointment with my therapist to talk it all out. At this point, I was just trying to get out of here without any additional emotional damage, but apparently that wasn't capable. Because this was pretty bad as well. Final knife in the heart was this putt. So close, yet so far. I usually hit this drive into a different hole on the right side, so I'm happy that this at least stayed close to the hole this time. Now this chip had a little bit too much juice on it. It went all the way across, but hey, at least it got in the air. Maybe I should always have a rope right behind my club because this chip wasn't bad. Remember what I said, the goal for the year is two putts. So this one put it decently close, enough to where I could tap this in and finish it off. Just another day in the life of a bad golfer.